Yeah, winds of change. Uh, those four angels were definitely them to help those who are looking to transition and come into a sense of identity and purpose within the Joshua generation. And definitely they traveled with me and they're an order of angels each. So there's lots of them that can engage. Um, when it comes to engaging with them, um, obviously when you're engaging publicly in a room, they would stand in the four corners of the room and you can go and engage them. But actually, if you think of that in your own room, just think about you wherever you're sitting in your room on your left transformation or let me think on your right hand side in the front of you transformation, left hand side uh, winds of change, back right refiner's fire, back left uh, sound of many waters. And that's where they stood. But at the end of the day, I don't think it matters too much. Um, what are they for? How do you engage with them? Well, what, welcome them to be with you and then engage. Um, transformation name is there to help you transform from where you are into the truth of who you are in God. And therefore, much to do with identity and, and revealing that identity and removing anything from your life that's a hindrance to your identity being unveiled. And certainly that's sort of a transformation of the mind, renewing of the mind, but also a transformation in, in the sense of transforming us into the correct image that we would see ourselves as the way God sees us. Winds of change, um, change of seasons, the winds changing the season, blowing things away, bringing things in new. So, you know, engaging the winds of change for me was always about um, my present purpose and future purpose. And can I engage with that and feel and sense that I'm in uh, a flow of that purpose and I'm um, walking it out and um, not stuck where I am, but always open to change, personal change, but change of circumstances, perhaps changes of places to live, where all sorts of different areas, winds of change, uh, bringing about the changes in our life needed. Sound of many waters, again, the voice of God um, is like the sound of many waters. So that angel was there to reveal God's voice to us, particularly, I think, in terms of identity and purpose um, and uh, unveiling the reality of who we are uh, finding our true identity as sons of God and then unveiling that purpose as sons to us as we would then become the voice of God as we resonated with the sound of many waters associated often with a waterfall and I had waterfall encounters often when I engaged the sound of many waters that would bring about that change and transformation to our lives and then refiner's fire I guess that sort of speaks for itself but Again, the refiner's fire is to purify and refine anything within us um, on our scroll, wood, hay and straw, uh, enabling more room for gold, silver, precious stones, but also in our lives, anything again, which is a hindrance, anything which would uh, require the fire of God's presence to consume. But also in terms of love, the refiner's fire, consuming fire of God's presence is also his love. So it's actually enabling us to be deeper in the fire of God's love and feel and sense God's loves around us. Yes, that can be transforming and purifying, but also it can just be a depth that goes deeper and deeper into us. So I would encourage you, if you feel led to engage them, invite them to be present in the room you're in and then just look to engage. You can physically go and engage the corner of the room or just go and engage by intention um, and do that. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.